So the EG4 mini split. Uh, I know Jim said he was having a problem with his heat when it gets really, really cold. So I'm gonna do a little test here to see what it's like. Uh, I think it's in the high 20s right now. We're gonna see what the temperature is and go inside and test it. So basically what I got here is the EG4 mini split. It's the solar version, but I don't have solar connected to it because I got solar on the house already. I think this is the 12,000 BTU and I got it basically running in one room. And right now it's saying, I just brought this out here a lot, lot long ago. It says it's 34 degrees out here, which I think it's a little colder than that. It's definitely colder than that with the wind. So with the wind chill, it's a lot colder, but uh, 34 degrees and let's go inside and see what temperature this thing's kicking out. And then what we'll do, just to make it clear, is tonight when it gets really cold, I'll come out here, check the temperature again. It's supposed to start snowing tonight too, but we'll see how all that goes. Check the temperature again out here to see what the temperature is and to see what it is on the inside to see if you can get down in the, in the teens and still kick out uh, warm air on the inside. I've only seen it in the low 20s running, so I haven't seen it in the teens that I remember. So let's go inside and check this thing out and then we'll come back tonight and check it out again and then talk about it and see what problems maybe Jim is having if this one is still working and uh, see if we get his problem fixed. All right, it's a little, a little cool outside so I went on and brought this inside. But as you can see right here on this video, I seen the temperature up to about 124.7, you know, so in the low 120s to the mid 120s. And the unit, you know, the room might already be heated up because I've definitely seen it a lot hotter than that before. But the room is really small and it doesn't take long for that thing to heat up. I had only think, had the thing running maybe 15 minutes. And so the room was probably already hot. So I tried to leave it off, get the room kind of cool, and then turn it back on to try to do this test. But as you know, you know, these units are very efficient. It will heat up a room very quickly, you know, especially a 12,000 B2 for just basically one little room. You know, I probably should have put a 9,000, but I wanted the one with the solar. So I got the 12,000, that's the smallest one they have that has the built-in solar. Just in case I ever needed to put some panels on this thing, I wanted to have that option. So basically what we'll do is we'll come back tonight when it gets a little colder and you know, hopefully it'll be down in the teens and come outside, see what the temperature is real quick, go inside, do the same thing and you know, do a comparison. So right now, whatever it was, I think it was 33 or 34 degrees on the outside and then 124 on the inside. What is that, about a 90 degree difference. So not bad, you know, for heating up a room, you know, when it's down in the thirties, but the real test is gonna come when it gets down in maybe the teens or low twenties or whatever it gets down to tonight. The wind chill is supposed to get, you know, way colder than that. So I'll go ahead and look it up and I'll bring it up right here, what it's saying right now, what it's gonna be in my area. So right now it says it's 33, as you can see, and it looks like 22. And then tonight, let's see, what, see it's supposed to start snowing at eight o'clock snow to about one and then by seven in the morning you know by three in the morning whatever it says it's going to be 22 then eight o'clock go down to 21 you know but let's see what the feel like temperature is going to be and let's see here conditions feel like all right and then the night so tonight at around 11 o'clock as you can see it's going to feel like about 15 degrees and then in the morning, you know, it's going to feel like 11, 12. So it's going to feel like it's in the teens for sure. Get down in the low 20s. We'll definitely be able to check it out and see what we get. But as you can see, you know, we'll check it out tonight. It's going to get down to the low 20s. But the next two nights, Wednesday and Thursday night, is when it's going to get even colder. It's going to get down to 17 and 18 degrees, it says. So with the wind chill, of course, it's going to be a lot colder than that. I think that's when I saw where it's going to be like six above zero with the wind chill. So, you know, we'll do a couple of tests every day and see what we're going to get and let you guys know. And we probably won't wait too late. We'll probably try to do this about eight o'clock, you know, right before the snow starts and all that nonsense. Cause just in case we get any sleet and ice or anything like that, we still don't know exactly what we're going to get. You know how these storms are. So once this thing starts moving through, I'm going to try to stay on the inside if I can. So I come in here by eight o'clock. It should be down in the low twenties by then. Check out the temperature on the inside. I'm on the outside and then on the inside. All right, the time, you might be able to see it. Time is 8.25 and 23 degrees. I don't know if you can see that. Bam, 23 degrees out here. 
and that's before the wind chill so it's definitely in the teens and i got shorts on i don't know if you can probably see but got the unit out here running and what i'm gonna do is go in the house and see what kind of output this thing has and then i'll go back in the building to finish up this test as you can see the snow just started here in north carolina like southeast north carolina so we got a little bit of dusting on the ground but between 11 and 1 is when we're supposed to get the heaviest stuff so up there you can see a little bit on the solar panels and maybe over here let's see here so got a little bit let's see if you can see that So got a little bit out there. My outside lights are messing up my lighting for the video, I guess. But like I said, let's go ahead and run back in the house and get that temp coming out. All right, as you guys can see, got about 112 degrees on the inside and the unit had been running for a little while. So it's not gonna be putting out this highest amount, but hey, not a bad uh, change from the outside. I think it was 23 degrees. That's before the wind chill, of course. So. If you're interested in one of these EG4 mini splits to heat up your home in emergencies, as you can see, you know, down to a certain amount, it's definitely going to work. I can try it again tonight to see. It's going to be even colder tonight. I think it's supposed to be down to 15 degrees. We'll see if that ends up being the case. I know the, with the wind chill, you know, definitely it's supposed to be down in the single digits. But we can see and try it again. And... If it's working then and it's still putting out that 110, 120 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, then hey, you should be good to go. It's gonna warm up your room, warm up your house, whatever it is that you're trying to run at that point. So Jim, maybe we can get you to let us know what your air temperature is coming out of your head unit. You know, maybe something got bent or something a little bit. I don't know, your tubing or something like that. You know, maybe you got a line that's a little restricted. It's not good, getting good circulation flow or it's not doing its defrost cycle or something like that, which it should do all that on its own. You shouldn't have to do anything that I know of, but uh, maybe we can look through the manual and try to figure it out. So if anybody else has any clues why maybe Jim's uh, mini split isn't working you know, like he thinks it should, hey, let me know that down in the comments below. And remember, anytime you use one of my affiliate links, if you wanna go pick up one of these units, you'll automatically be entered into our monthly drawing for everybody that made purchases through my affiliate links. I try to do a little giveaway every month, take a percentage of my commissions, give something away to you because you know, you're the ones helping me out. So I try to help you out as well. This month, I hadn't made a ton of sales here in January. So it'd be a good time to get in on it because you'll have a high probability of winning you know, hey, after the holidays, a lot of people aren't going to be buying a lot of stuff, of course. And hey, if you like these kind of videos, hey, think about hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button, and thanks for watching.